Welcome to another XFX Messages tutorial. This time we're going to build a conversation. We'll do it in the Facebook Messenger style, but the method is the same for iMessage, SMS or WhatsApp conversations and there are templates included in the pack for all of those. We're going to start with a blank timeline. Go up to the Title Inspector and find XFX Messages and you'll see the different categories in there. We're going to be building a Facebook Messenger style conversation. There are two different types of plugins in that category. The ones on white are the push-ups and we'll be using those. The ones on black are the tracking ones and we've covered those in a previous tutorial. But we're going to be building a conversation using the push-up versions. I'll drag the left text version to the timeline. And there you go, we've already got the beginning of a message. Now I want to adjust that. I can go straight in and add some text. And as we've shown you before, to gear down the size, it's optional Alt when you drag on the message width to get exactly the right size. That looks good. And we're also going to add an avatar. So I'll click on there. And we should have in our library a picture that we can drop in. How about him? OK, we'll apply that. But oh, he's a bit too big and we want to move that. So we can go to the avatar. We've got complete control. Scale him down and we'll push him down a bit there so that's looking good okay now we want to reply to that and all we need to do is go up to the title inspector and find the other side which is normally there situated side by side for ease and drop that on the top and as soon as i hit play you can see we have a conversation starting to build i delay that a bit so it's got the right timing and we'll change that and let's say hello Again, we'll do the message width. You can actually have these messages as large as you like. Just to show you, we can as much text in there as you like. And as you'll see, looking at the other message, it automatically adjusts the spacing. You don't have another control to adjust. But we'll just say hello for the time being. And also, we will do the avatar on there. So that's back to the library. And this time, we'll use this lady. Apply. Again, not too sure. I don't like this highlight. We've got rid of that before. So I'm just going to increase her and move it over there. This is using the default colors, the white and the blue. So there you go. We're starting to build a conversation. On to images and video. Back up to the title inspector. And these are next to the text versions. We need to drop this on. This area we're going to fill with video or still image. It doesn't matter, both work. Before we drop an image into the image well in the inspector, let's just have a look at the variations that we can have. We've got free move parameters unlocked on there. What that means is you can have your image as big or as small as you like or whatever format you desire. But on here to make life easier, we've already put some um, presets. So we can say landscape small, uh, portrait medium, etc. What we're going to do for this is go landscape medium. Click on the image well, go over to our library and we've got a nice image there. Apply clip and it's as easy as that. You'll notice we need to put the avatar in there as well. Now because it's not the, it's a different plugin to the text one we actually have to put it back in. If I go to that avatar and go to the guy, apply He's a bit big, as we've said before, so again, we're going to pull that down. And you could tap in the exact figure to match, should you wish. So we've got a nice building conversation. We want to put an answer in from this lady. No problem, we don't have to go back up to the title browser. We can just duplicate what we have already. And the, the bonus of that is we get the avatar. If I just go Alt and drag that, it's Alt or Option. As you see, we've got another message. We want to say something else. Nice photo. And of course, adjust this so that the message fits, which is message width. And there we have 
our message. Maybe I'm just going to adjust that width a bit. There we go. Really easy to do. And all of this stays live. There's no baked in template. If you want the messages to happen slower, just move them all down the timeline a bit. Um, it, you're not constrained by anything. Also, you can have as many messages of different types as you like. So you can have two photos that follow each other or two lots of text on one side. You're not locked into following a predefined template. You can do whatever you like. Looking good. Let me just hit Shift Z to shrink the timeline so you can see all the elements on there. Uh, it, it's good, but what I want to do is I want to superimpose this um, conversation over either a still or some video. And at the moment, if you were to put something behind, which I can show you by going down to the background and drop this, drop this in, it actually pushes the background up as well. And you don't want that. You don't want the thing to go off the screen. So what we have to do is we have to use the power of compound clips, make that into a compound clip. And let's call this um, build a conversation. That'll do. And although it looks exactly the same, it's put it into a compound clip, which means when we come to put a color underneath it, I'll just extend that out. Instead of pushing it up, it actually puts the message over the color. This could be video or it could be a still image, whatever you like, it works the same. And that's looking pretty good. Right, a couple of finishing things. We're going to put a top and bottom bar on like you would have on a mobile phone. And again, those are in the same section. They all match. The one to put on first is the Facebook bottom bar. And I'll show you why is when I apply this, it automatically pushes the first message up by the right amounts. There's no cutoff here. If I was to toggle this off and on, you can see the bar pushes it up. And also we've got a control here. It's, there's a lot of customization in the plugin. So I can say, oh, well, I, you know, size wise, I want a bigger size. And you can see it's pushing this up or down depending on that control. So it's all automatic. You don't have to put, you know, you don't have to keyframe an offset, which would be terrible. And to finish it off, we are going to put the Facebook top bar on there. And yes, you've probably seen it already. What we need to do is we need to go over to the avatar, go back to our library and drop our man in and hit play. And that's a really quick way of building a message conversation in Final Cut Pro 10 using XFX messages. All the different versions, the WhatsApp, the SMS and iMessage all work the same and there's bars for those as well and you don't really have to worry about any of the spacing the plugin does it all for you in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to track a conversation that's a little bit harder so i'll see you then bye bye <laughs>